Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be um, a list of some of my favorite books to read in the summertime. And I've been trying to film it for like a week, but I left my camera at my sister's house and I just got it back today, so here I am. Now, the very first books that come to mind when I think about summer reads are two books in the Penderwick series. And that is the Penderwicks, which is the very first one, and then the Penderwicks at Point Mouette, which is the third book. And I know I've talked about these books before, but it's because I really, really love them. This series is about the Penderwicks family, which is a family of four girls and their widowed father. But Jean Birdsall's writing is very fun. It's very summery. Um, it's really funny, actually. They, these books always make me laugh. I love the characters. I love everything about them, pretty much. And the first book in particular, The Penderwicks, the subtitle is A Summer Tale of Four Sisters, Two Rabbits, and a Very Interesting Boy. And it is such a summer tale. It is one of the most summery books I have ever read. It's about the, the Penderwicks family vacation during the summer, and they go and stay at this beautiful, this beautiful house that rents cabins, and the house is called Arundel. And it's uh, the story of their trip there. It's about the four sisters, Rosalind, Jane, Skye, and Batty. And the very interesting boy is the son of the person who runs like the park where they're staying, and his name is Jeffrey. And it's their, the story of their friendship and just the story of their summer vacation, and it is so, so good. And then The Penderwicks at Point Mouette is book three, and this one follows the, um, their summer vacation to Point Mouette, which is a different place, a few years later. And it's also very good, but I would definitely recommend that you start with the first book. And the next book on my summer reads list is actually a series, and that is The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefvater. This series starts with The Raven Boys. The whole series does not take place during the summer, but when I think about these books, you know like the last few hours of the day how the light just grows so long and it's so golden and it's like you can see the light in the air. That always makes me think of these books. I don't really know why, but it does. Um, it, it is the story of a group of, a rather strange group of friends who are hunting for a dead Welsh king. And it is kind of magical realism, it is kind of paranormal, it is kind of contemporary. Um, Maggie Steve Otter is one of those writers that's kind of hard to put into a box, but this series is really good at any time of the year, but I think it's especially good in the summertime. And the next book that I have to recommend would be The Constitution of the United States of America and the Declaration of Independence written by our founding fathers. And this isn't really a book, they're more documents, I suppose, but I always try to read them around the 4th of July just to remind just to remind myself of like why the United States is a unique country and why the 4th of July is is important. So I always think that this one is a good one to read um, during the summer. The next book that I have is Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. And this book doesn't even take place in the summer. It actually starts um, during the winter. It's basically a pirate adventure story and they go and, and travel to a desert island. And it's always kind of summertime in, on desert islands. And I think that's why it makes me think of summer. But it is um, it is just the perfect adventure story. I'm sure that you've heard of it before, and it is so good. If you haven't read it, definitely give it a try this summer. Another book that always makes me think of summer is Gypsy Rizka by Lloyd Alexander, and I know I've talked about this book before, but it is one of my very favorites. Rizka is such an interesting character to read about. I, I always love spending time in her company. Just a fun children's book to read during the summer or at any time of the year. Well, you can see a definite trend in my summer reading. All of these books are children's books except for The Raven Cycle, which is young adults, and uh, The Constitution, which is nonfiction, I guess. Um, but I do have one adult fiction book to mention, and that is The Moon Spinners by Mary Stewart. And this is not a recent book. I think it was written in the 1960s, but it is a really fun one. It's about a young woman who goes on summer vacation to um, Greece, and she gets kind of caught up in several different things that are happening there. There's kind of a jewelry heist and a few other plots that are going on. And it's just a really fun read. Um, there is a movie version starring Hayley Mills, which is also excellent, but the book is totally different. So if you've seen the movie and liked it, give the book a try, but don't expect it to be the same. Okay, those are all the summer books I have to share with you today. I think that I, you know, I really associate books with seasons, but I think summer is the season that I associate books with the least. Because when I started making this list, I really struggled to put it together. And I kept finding books that reminded me of other seasons, and I'm like, where are the summer books? Where are they? But hopefully you've enjoyed this video, 
And if you've read any of these books, I'd love to hear your thoughts or I'd love to hear some of your favorite summer books since obviously I don't have many. See you next time. Bye.